Hello you guys, Sun6 Gaming and another video today and today I've got XP storage in vanilla Minecraft. So basically what this uh, little contraption here allows you to do, basically just two boxes and with one you can deposit XP into your XP bank and with on the other you can withdraw so this is basically a way to safely keep your XP somewhere so that you don't lose it when you die. Unless you've got keep inventory on but then you never lose your XP. And then so let's just I guess demonstrate it so I'm going to turn this on and as you can see it will start taking my XP and adding to the score in the sidebar and I have now got all 30 levels in my sidebar in my XP bank and if I ever want them back I just go into this room and I just wait as I get all the levels back now a little thing you might notice oh it, uh, what it actually gave me 30 now it happens that it gives me one extra level uh, it gives me 31 but 32 this is a little bit weird how that happened maybe there was some loose XP in that added up but yeah that's a little bit weird um, it's a pretty good system there might be little bugs like that I guess where it gives you one extra level but really what's one extra level so I'm just gonna start explaining this thing so you see uh, not too many command blocks here running the system now I'm gonna start with these this is basically what the lever does when you flip the lever on so when you flip it down it will activate this command block which will set this block to air and on this side it will set this block to air which will unlock this repeater which will allow the clock to actually run these command blocks and execute them and then when you flip the lever back up it will activate this command block which sets it to redstone block which is the state it is now in which blocks the repeaters and stops the clock from running this so but what is in these command blocks this is basically this command block gives a level to everyone that is in this room or the nearest person to the command block that is in this room so you really need to be one person at a time in that room otherwise it won't really work so it gives you uh, one level and if that is successful it will then take uh, one of your XP score so when you've got one XP score you go in there you get one level and your XP score goes to four, from one to zero uh, pretty simple and this one does exactly the opposite it takes a level from you if you are in that you have to have at least one level otherwise it won't do it and it gives one XP score so one goes to your scoreboard and you've got an XP score of one then we've got these these command blocks and they are basically turning this one, this one, and we'll get to this one later, to unpowered compressors, which is why this one is flashing, so that it doesn't just stay activated, it will constantly activate and deactivate to keep testing, to keep activating. So then we've got the other loose command blocks here, which are these, this one, and these two. Uh, this one is basically setting, well, basically what this one is doing when your XP score gets below zero so one minus one minus two minus 164 which won't happen with this system it won't go farther than minus two so far um, it will basically set your XP score back to zero so that when you withdraw you don't actually have to get those negatives away as well which makes that you get less levels back than you put in so this one's basically making it so that your XP score is always at least zero and it can be way higher than that but never lower than zero and this one is testing if your XP score is below zero it's stopping this system so it's if it's zero or below it is blocking this system and this is the system that is the withdrawal system why does it block it because otherwise you could have an XP score of zero but still ge be getting XP from standing in this room and it would basically just be an endless XP farm and you don't want that so that's a system uh, it is not too hard but I think it's pretty useful pretty cool um, from now on I will actually be including a download link in my video for this world so it will be starting here and this world it has a lot of stuff in it basically all the systems I made since the catapult video if you saw that uh, the catapult videos thing uh, blah, 
clone animation uh, the C4 is right here and then here's the custom arrows all that stuff you can look around check the command block see how all of it works mess around with it do what you want uh, the command will also still be in description uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see all you guys next time